Today we got some Jamal Murray clips. Yeah, one of the greatest bubble runs that we saw out of all those guys who kind of stepped out onto the scene. Today we're going to kind of look at some of the ways he comes off and plays off the handoff. It's his second highest percentage in terms of play types he plays out of for the Nuggets. It makes sense when Jokic, you know, he, he can fake the handoff oftentimes because he can pass so well and make his own play. So I'll let the clip run through, then we'll go through it. All right, so the first thing, you know, some basic stuff, right? This isn't rocket science. Basketball isn't difficult. When you're coming downhill, when you're coming from a high angle and you have space to run forward, right, you could speed up very quickly as Jamal can all the way out here. So you want to fake before you come off the handoff, right? You don't want Mikael Bridges to be able to blow it up and come completely over. So he takes this little jab, right? He's running down here. You don't know what he's going to do. What is he going to do? You're so high out that... All the while he's running down, Jamal Murray is reading Mikhail Bridges, so is Jokic. If Mikhail is starting to cheat over to the right side and try to get over this this handoff quickly, right, we're just going to go back door, and because we're so high out, you know, he's going to have the full speed full speed ahead, full steam run down the lane. It's going to be easy dump, and DeAndre Aiden or Devin Booker is going to have to make a play, right? Got the shooter in the corner spacing ready to shoot. So, takes him down, fakes like he's going to go off, right? Always want to do that, too, because you want to get him, try to, try to get him under doesn't necessarily get him super far under, but you want to try to get him under Jokic, right? Because when you get him under, when you come off the screen as a shooter, right, you can easily step behind the screen. If, if Mikhail Bridges can't get over top and he has to go under, you can easily step right behind it. Right there, pop a shot, right? Okay, but Mikhail goes over, right? And the thing I want to highlight in, in this clip, right, is he goes over. Jamal, first of all, he's always bringing the ball on this drive. This is something little, but you know, all people got to work on when they're driving the lane is just working on getting the ball up, right? There's going to be hands, right? That little, just that little gather bringing the ball up. If this is a longer defender, if this is, you know, Jeremy Grant, Mikhail Bridges in the lane, somebody with a long wingspan, he might get a hand on it if you keep it around your, around your stomach, right? Around your chest level, but he brings it up above his head. But the thing I want us to focus on is when he jumps into DeAndre Aiden, that's a big, right? Look, he's overpowering him, but look at his elbow. He makes contact. Oftentimes, you're going to see Jamal Murray when you watch the clips, when he's in a lot of good finishers, when they get in the lane, they're sticking that elbow into the defender, right? That bumps DeAndre Aiden a little bit, a little back. It kind of makes him at this different angle, right? Now, DeAndre Aiden's kind of folding over, right? He's not able to go straight up or even blocking the shot. So that little bump on the elbow allows Jamal Murray, along with his hang time and his ability to maneuver in the lane, to get that shot up and finish the layup. All right, so if you guys watched the Devin Booker video, talked a lot about jumping off that back foot. So that's something we see in this clip, just as a, a different variation of the finish, right? There's just different ways, right? So as a defender, you're going to go over top oftentimes when you're playing against shooters because you don't want him to step behind the screen. You get caught under Jokic, right? And Robin Lopez is already so low, he can't close out. So if you go under right here is Rui Hachimura, right? If you go under, Jamal can just step behind the screen. Rui goes over the screen, right? Jamal does a good job of, you know, despite that being a, a, an aggressive contact, right, by Rui, Jamal does a good job of being able to get to the ball. Look at how tight he's coming off, right? He's getting low as he's coming off. He's getting his elbow, his shoulder as low as he can to his hip. Look at, there's no real room for Rui to get through, right? As a, as a defender, they teach you to try to skinny up and get through this gap when you're getting over any sort of ball screen. But Rui can't do that because Jamal is so low. So Rui has to go over and take that step up the floor. Once he takes that step up the floor, it's over. Because Jamal, as Rui's taking that step up, Jamal can get down. But it's all set up by Jamal coming off tight. So Jamal comes off tight. He sees that Rui is a, is behind him, right? So Rui's taking that step up to get around Jokic, get through. And Jamal makes contact, gets in front of him, right? As you get in front of him, as you're making this contact, now he's at your mercy. You can react. You have the whole floor in front of you, right? And he's behind you. As long as you hold him off and can maintain your dribble, and be able to make a read, you can do what you want. So Jamal makes that contact, right? <clears throat> he bumps him. This is the key. Bump him, gets Rui's momentum back towards that direction, and Jamal is planning hard like he's going to the jumper. Left foot, pop, right foot, plant off the back foot, right? So he goes left, plant, right, 
left, straight to the fader. Look how, I'll play this in super slow. Look how, because he bumps him this way, and then he fakes that way, right? Because when you bump Rui right here, Rui's going to be that much more willing to try to get in front and have to close out that much harder. So if you're faking, you bump him, and then you fake this direction to the left, as he does with this hop one, two, right? Bump, look at Rui. He has to get in front. Look at Rui jump. Now Rui can't, Rui's in the air. He can't get to this fade. He can't close out on this fade. That's why Jamal gets it up, gets it over, gets a jumper. All right, so now we have a clip where the defender goes under. And instead of shooting, Jamal Murray gives a quick little fake to get DiVincenzo on his heels and give them the advantage. So, first of all, we're coming down full speed. Right, it's hard to guard when somebody's coming at you full speed. Because they're moving forward, you're moving laterally and backwards, which is easier. Right? So, Jamal, right off the rip, passes Yoke to the top of the ball screen. He sees DiVincenzo goes under, he hops right behind it. Because DiVincenzo is going under, we're looking for the jumper, right? But because Jokic doesn't necessarily body him and he just gets through, because we're not really looking for a screen right away, DiVincenzo is able to get through. But what does DiVincenzo have to do now? This is a shooter. He can shoot from out there. So you got to close out. So he come, has to come up, right? Jamal Murray looks up at the rim, right? Anytime we step behind the screen, it's a little thing, but it really does wonders. Anytime somebody, your defender goes under the screen, just look at the rim. If you got, you're your shooting threat, just look at the rim. They're going to have to kind of jump, get a hand up, you know, and then as soon as that momentum is going towards you, that means you use it against them and you go behind them and attack the rim. So Jamal Murray looks up. Looking up, looking up at the rim, right? Boom. Step behind. Oh, what is he going to do? He's going to shoot it. He looks like he's getting into his one, two. So I got to come up, jabs him, gets him off balance, right? Look how low Jamal is. Shoulder by his hip. We're getting the opposite shoulder by his hip. We want to get low. Right? We're in a runner stance right here, as low as you can get. Get explosive, right? So we're going to go quarter speed. Then we'll look at this finish. So first of all, one, two. Look how deep he gets in before he takes off. He's not taking off... Look at this last step. Jamal does his off there. Go watch Jamal clips and he's finishing at the rim. He's taking big steps. One, two. He's getting deep, right? The deeper you get, the more Brook Lopez has to get in front, especially when he's running down right here, right? So he has to get further and further under the rim. And look at this. Now Jamal can jump into you because you're not taking a charge, right? You have to jump straight up. Jamal can jump into you, and now we're working on the elbow. He's hitting. He's using the elbow to shield his hand, right? Elbow contact. Create that space, shield it. Look at Brook Lopez folding over like that, like we saw in the DeAndre Hayden clip. Now he's able to hang. Obviously, he has bounce, so if you don't have bounce, you know, definitely use, utilize the elbow. But he's using his elbow to create that space, and he's able to hang, get it up, finish the layup. 